Hey everyone, my name is Taylor, and this is a complete guide to the new Forbidden Library Gauntlet. Everything that from this gauntlet can be obtained from the Forbidden Library Horde Pack, including the parts to craft the gauntlet itself. And this is the direct upgrade to last year's Nightmare gear. You can also buy the gauntlet online or visit a friend's house who happens to have it already. The most notable drops here are the Robe, which is the best alternative to the Nullity for PvE, and Cosmetics, including the Mount and for Pets. When running this dungeon, I recommend having two hitters. If you plan on running the Secret Boss, you will need four people. A Balance would be very helpful if you decide to do a Tempest Boss. Starting the gauntlet, you will face a boss named Imogem Nightgrove. She has no real cheats and only has 9k, so you can beat her up just like any high HP mob battle. Mass Faint, Faint, Blade, AoE. She actually drops the Athane, Amulet, Ring, Deck, and the new Shatter Tokens. There will be four puzzle rooms. They may contain a puzzle or a fight with enemies ranging from 4k to 7,000. Each one will give you a book for the final puzzle. When you get these books, note which room you got each book from. Puzzle room number one, which is the first room to your left after entering the dungeon, is fairly straightforward. Chase flying books and deposit them into the container. Puzzle room number two, which is the room left closest to Imogen, has four columns of books. If you play as your pet and go into the second half of the room, you will find four more columns of books. Interact with a column that does not match. Puzzle room number three, which is the opposite of room one, requires you to flip levers back and forth, right to left, between the outside and the play as your pet side. There is a timer, but it's fairly generous and this can be soloed. Puzzle room number four, requires you to use photomancy on the tomes in order from 1, 2, 3, and 4. After completing each room, go back to the main puzzle and insert the books that most thematically matches the corresponding mythological god and insert based on the no room number that you receive the book from. After unlocking the final door, you will face Bodley and Harrow. This boss has 8,000 HP and clears traps. After defeating his first phase, he will respawn with 17,000 HP and he will summon minions. This means the fastest strategy will always be capped at three turns. Turn one, everyone will blade player four and player four will use a five pit single hit and kill for phase one. Turn two, everyone will buff player three and turn three, the first two players will buff, the third player will hit, and the fourth player should be able to safely pass. If you have less teammates, tune the strategy to your quickest alternative, but this principle is pretty much you will, what you will do with any team. Bodleian will drop the hat, robe, boots, and wand, and the pity reward. At this point, you will be given access to the monster dome behind the boss. In order to access it, you must find four books, one in each puzzle room, and you can find them at these locations. In room one, room two, room three, and room 4. You must magic touch these within a few seconds of each other, requiring all four players to coordinate their timing to participate in the boss. Go back to the monster dome and you will find Nyx Nightbringer. Nyx Nightbringer is a 58,000 death boss with pretty high critical block who removes feints and hates accuracy and pips. My recommendation is to simply blade and trap about a dozen times and you should be able to kill with any school hitter. That's why balance is so helpful. 
Nick's Nightbringer drops the mount and pets. After completing the dungeon, you will have access to a pity system where you can craft any piece of gear that you want. If you found this helpful, it would mean a lot if you could leave a like and subscribe. Other than that, have a wonderful day and goodbye.